we are still on strain, uh, stress and shear, all those material related problems. So we're going to try to tackle a problem on screen. So don't mind just to pause the video and try it yourself and see if you are going to arrive at the same conclusion. Okay. So in, if it happens that you spot any mistake in my work, don't mind just to comment there and show me where I made a mistake. If I did, hopefully I won't do any mistake. But even if I do, but obviously you will get the content because I teach concepts exactly in that correct sense. Okay, with all, with all that being said, let's just read the, uh, the problem that we have here. Okay, it's a tensile test is performed on a brass specimen of 10 millimeters in, in diameter using a gauge with a length of 50 millimeters see the figure here this is the figure that they are referring to when the tensile load uh, p reaches exactly 20 kilometers the distance between the gauge marks is like this so a gauge exactly it's a uh, let me just start here it's a it's a device i can't really draw but it is some sort of a device that uses it will be connected to uh, to another device meter like device that it this device uses electricity to define if the material that is it, it is plated on or sticked on is stretching or doing or is deforming in any form so it normally attaches this thing on big materials like your bridges and everything so to see of how much uh, strain is the material going through so they just pasted one here of which is like 50 meters it is here so the problem that had all the problem is about okay so elasticity of brass that they want okay we know that elasticity modulus uh let me get my pen is equal to stress all over strain and we know that stress is literally uh, stress as force per area and some book denotes that f as p but as long as you've substituted the correct senses and it depends on what your professor or your lecture prefers strain strain at a change or how much uh, an, a material deform compared to what it was okay so you can do some lot of math here not, not so much math just nothing clever and this is going to be on top that won't be on the bottom Okay, I don't know what is with me. All over there's times here. This division change to be times, and then it's flipped everything upside down. Okay, I think now we have change in length here. Okay, we want to get our elasticity modulus. Okay, so we do have the force that was applied. It, we have a force of twenty times ten, three for kilo. Kilo newtons, set the times initial. Initially, we are just going to put this part of which that's where that's where the 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 whole elonging was was or was observed because that's where that gauge was planted or should I say pasted, plated, whatever term you wish to use. That's where the deformation was observed exactly. So this is the this is your initial of which is 50 50 for milli. I'm just obviously going to put 10 negative 3 all over 
area. On the area, remember we're looking at the area of this thing. This is the pipe. And we, we are looking at the normal area, the area of which is area of a circle. And it's known as pi r squared. Pi r, what is my r? The diameter was 10 millimeters, so the r of a square will be 5 times 10, negative 3, 4 milli, pi r squared. And the change here, the change in length. This was the change in length, the increase they said. Multiply by it, so it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 2 milli times 10 negative negative 3, whatever I'm trying to squeeze there. And then you could just punch this in your calculator and you get the correct answer. If it's the correct answer, I trust you. Just pause the video, try see your answer and I'll just put mine to compare with yours. And after punching on my calculator, I'm getting a number with a lot of zeros. Uh, it's exactly 9 zeros or just times 10, 9. So this is 104, 9 and it, it, it's up to you. You can just change the uh, time cent to giga or whatever uh, conversion you prefer. But with me, this is very fine. So you can compare your answer with mine. Make sure that you punch all the values like this and make sure that you correct. And yeah, take note also here that the uh, elongation or maybe for initial initial length you put in the length where the gauge was planted you don't put in the length of the whole uh the whole object that you are subjected to so now we know the modulus uh of brass of which this is what you see just here thank you for watching again please make sure that you subscribe like the video share and again, make sure that you subscribe. Thank you.